Good morning, everybody. Welcome to week 10 of our COM235 class. Can you believe that we've made it? We've worked 10 weeks together on Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Access, and we've had a number of Zoom sessions, and there's been a lot of work that you've put in um, while you've managed family and while you've managed jobs and dealt with life. And uh, at the time that I'm recording this, you've got one week to go, and uh, you'll have finished another class on the way towards graduation. So I want to thank you for a good job that you've done, congratulate you on the work that you've put in, uh, the stick, stick to it, if, it's, if you will, uh, to, to deal with life and family and work and everything and pursue a degree, and I think you're doing a great job. Here in week 10, we're going to look at some of the, what they call the advanced features of Access. Um, I know from personal experience, you rarely ever use them unless you're in database management. But it'll give you a good overview of some of the things that uh, Microsoft Access can do. Um, as I think over the last nine or ten weeks, I think you've gotten some very, very good tools that you can use in work or even in your personal life using Excel and Access, as both of them are pretty powerful and enable you to do some things you might not would otherwise be able to do or even attempt. So hopefully you've learned something, you're going to get a good grade out of this, move on as far as your educational goals, but um, overall that you can sit down in front of a computer and make something happen, and I'm especially glad that you can do that. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to me. This is our last week of class, so the class uh, ends on Saturday night at midnight. Uh, no work can be turned in after midnight on Saturday, so take a good look at the grade book. Make sure you've got everything turned in before midnight on Saturday. Uh, if you're running behind for some reason and it looks like you're not going to be able to get everything done, uh, my recommendation is, is that you focus on the, um, the items that have the biggest point value. Uh, so take a look at the grade book. You can see where it says one of one or three of three or whatever like that. Uh, look at the things that give you the most bang for your buck if you're running out of time and try to get those things done. Uh, in week 10, you have your final exam, you have the um, two-page paper that you have to write about application of what you've learned, uh, and then again, there's some things in there that have, you know, quite a bit of point value that you want to do. So with that said, we're going to, uh, to do our last week of class. I wish you the best. I've enjoyed working with you. This will be the last video uh, that I do for you, and we won't have a Zoom session. So any uh, communication, I guess, will be via email, text, or whatever. But uh, I wish you the best, and let me know if I can help you.